Uh, this is a, a red wine. It's got medium concentration, uh, ruby red going out to a garnet hue, garnet meniscus. Um, I would say this is clearly got some staining going on to it, um, some heavy staining. Uh, in terms of sediment, nothing, effervescence, nothing. The nose is clean. This is a beautiful, gritty old wine, Venice wine. Um, this nose confirms maybe the five to seven years, five to nine years of age, um, if not more. Um, there is a ton of beautiful bursting red fruit. I would say this is ripe cherry, uh, ripe strawberry, maybe even getting into baked or jammy stages. Um, sawdust, a ton of sawdust. There's new oak on this wine, a ton of expensive new oak. Um, and compost, organic matter, living soil, some sort of um, just humus uh, to the palate. Confirming the new oak, yeah, acid is there. Medium, medium, medium plus acid, medium, medium minus in terms of tannins. They're integrated, they're beautiful. The age is showing. In terms of the fruit, confirming that strawberry, um, cherry, tons of cherry. Um, and it's absolutely ripe to overripe. Uh, this is bursting. Um, in terms of body, this is a full bodied wine that's faded a little. Um, maybe older than I had first anticipated. <clears throat> I would put this, um, it's got like that little black pepper note to it. Um, this is cab heavy. Um, New Oak. There's two places this is from. It's either Napa or Bordeaux. Um, yeah, beautiful wine. Uh, I would put this as High quality producer, as, as Will loves to say. Um, this is gonna be a, uh, let's go nine to 12 year um, left bank Bordeaux. There's tons of fucking staining. I'm, I'm not going Bordeaux, let's go Napa. Napa, um, high quality producer, nine to 12 years. Um, and since there's staining, let's go mountain fruit. Um, I know Will doesn't drink that, so I'm wrong, but that would be my go-to on this. Very cool. You grab 2010. a bottle? 2010. 2010 Napa. High, high quality producer. Fuck. <laughs> oh, 09 Rothschild. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. You almost got it. Fuck. Yeah, I mean, you got